Greetings and welcome back to Smartwatch Ticks where we have an exciting day. Today we are going to unbox this box and I'm going to teach you two brand new words. Words I've never seen before and I doubt you have either. The first word is S-M-R-R-T. That's right, smirt. This is a UU smirt smirt sport. What? What? Got the second word? It's a word. <laughs> Why is it so hard to have uh, these words? I don't know, but there we go. Two brand new words uh, to add to our vocabulary. Uh, we'll have to Google them, Wikipedia them, and uh, dictionary them. Smirt and Wurch. In the meantime, I have another brand new word for you. And this word is actually... The name of the company that's bringing us this new watch, Zoitop. Now, I want to let you know that what we're going to start doing every now and then is show you some off-the-wall watches that are kind of like um, not your common ones you're going to see in the mainstream. And the first one is, uh, well, I think we've done a couple already, but today's watch comes to us from Zoitop. Uh, this is their official trademark information. They are now a registered entity as recently as just last month. Um, China company working throughout uh, the United States and Europe and everywhere else, I presume. And they're bringing us the Zoe Top UU Outdoor Swim 5 Atmosphere Waterproof Outdoor Backlight Smart Smart What With What. All of this stuff in this little package. I'm excited to show this to you, and I'm just about to, but first I wanted to, I wanted to tell you kind of how this came about. You remember the, um, the Finau F2 watch? This is that crossover kind of a watch we did a review on between a digital watch, your old standard digital watch, and a smart watch. I think this is it. There, there we go. See, it's turning it on. And it's got your regular old black and white kind of display like you would have on a uh, digital watch from the old days. However, it had Bluetooth built into it and all these other kind of functions. Really nice watch, but whoa, look at this thing. Look at this thing. Look at the double, double clamp on it. I mean, that's a monster watch. This could be a Terminator watch. From the movie Terminator, I don't mean, you know, you're going to whack somebody with it, but uh, a big watch. What if, what if you took this watch here and you crossed it with this watch here? This is my old original IQI i3 prototype. Now, this is an Android watch, right? Totally different concept. Display is different, but look at how sweet that design is. Look at that nice bezel. Look at the streamline appearance. What if you took the innards of this one and stuffed it in the case of that one and came up with something that looks like this? Now I'd say, okay, we're getting there. We're getting to a really nice digital kind of a watch. It's kind of a pseudo unboxing. I got to I got to be honest. I've unboxed this and played with it all weekend long. Um I got some data to show you, but I I didn't pull the plastic off. I wanted to do that on camera and boy, it's got little nicks and things. See in the plastic already on the surface. Um this is why I don't like these plastic protectors. But the glass of course is fine. This, first of all, it's got the standard kind of a display like this one, but it's reverse. It's white against black. And look at the bezel. Isn't that sweet? And look at the size. I'm happy with this watch. And you know what? I, all right, I got I to gotta share with you. Um, see, it's the UU, the UU watch. This watch actually came in on my birthday last week. And I, I, I kind of said, if a watch comes in on my birthday, um, then it's my birthday present, right? And I didn't know it was going to come in for sure, but then it did. And so I've played with it all weekend long, and um, I really like it. It's an interesting watch. One thing I did in the unboxing, and this is why I love to do them on camera, because you see my surprise and disappointment. First of all, the box was a little crunched, but no big deal. But I opened it up, and I looked inside, and, and, and I went, where's the charging wire? 
Ah, they left out the charging wire. Does it use a USB dock? I hope not. If it just uses the cable to plug in, I got a lot of those, but there's a manual. So it, where's the darn charging dock? Well, I better look at the watch and find out how it hooks up, right? And I looked at it and I said, okay, there's a button, an open space and a button. Hey, it's the same on this side. Hey, where do you, where do you plug it in? How do, you, how do you charge it? Oh, there's that back cover. We can take that off, too. There, for the stainless steel back. There's no charging port. I was, like, sad. I didn't understand. How does it work? It's got Bluetooth in it. It's got to have a chargeable battery. Well, folks, guess what? This watch does not have a rechargeable battery. Eh, Got to clean that up. This watch runs on regular digital watch batteries, just like this one does. And you know what? Same thing. It all runs off of a standard watch battery that lasts for up to a year. I didn't take the back off of this one either. Up to a year on uh, just a regular watch battery and up to two years, I think, in standby, like if you weren't even using it. And if you're not using it, you just simply press and hold and turn it off and that saves battery. Slick, huh? Same concept there. I'm not going to turn it off yet because I want to show you the data, but you do the same thing. You press and hold. So the innards of this one are in this one, but the outards of this one are in this one. And so now I've got a sweet um, looking, in my opinion, digital watch that tethers to a phone, which is where we go next, with the X-Watch app. Okay, what can it do? Let's take a look at the manual and find out. This is the button layout. You have a light button here, a mode button, and a start and a reset button, okay? The power on and off is those opposite two ports. Here's some more information. Whoops, there you go. Get the whole thing in the picture. Nice, colorful manual in here. Okay, we have a calendar mode. We can record steps with it and show your calorie consumption and your distance walked, all right? You have an alarm and a stopwatch. And Bluetooth. You can turn on and off Bluetooth, which appears right next to the date right there. This is the... Um, QR code you scan to get the app X Watch, which you can do, of course, directly from the uh, Google Play Store. And I think for the iOS, Apple, you can do it too. And you do need to register. You need to set up an account and register within the app in order to uh, really gain access for it because it uh, archives your data over time, which is pretty cool. And you simply pair it by connecting it through your standard Bluetooth setup. And surprising S X, X Watch app, it can sync the sport data on your watch, all of this kind of stuff. And the replacement battery, it's a standard CR2032 battery. You open the back and you replace it when it's getting down to within 15 days and the low battery appears but it's supposed to go for a year. And here it is in Chinese on that side. A year on that battery. So, in terms of concept about this watch, it really is limited, okay? It, it, it's, it's more limited, actually, than this one. This has a few more functions and features in it, but what you can do with this one, you see down here in the bottom, there's a little picture of a camera. You can use it as a remote camera to take pictures. You can receive a notification that a call is coming in um, or uh, messaging, I believe. Those are some of the features you can see. You see all these other things underneath the time. Boy, that display is tricky. These are the functions you're looking at. Here's the time. I press it once, and now it's showing me the date. That's the calendar. Then it's showing me the steps I've taken today, what that translates to in calories, what that is in miles or distance. Here's the alarm function. Here's the stopwatch function, which you start and stop here. 
I played with it all over the weekend, and it runs uh, to 23, 59, 59, and switches over to zero again. So it's a one-day timer. So it repeats every day. And uh, stop it and reset it down here. And then you're back to time. The time it pulls from Bluetooth synchronization. Now, you see the little Bluetooth icon is right there. And... Uh, next to the day of the week, Monday. And if it's all set up right, it should just simply synchronize here. And I pull down to refresh it. And I think, what did I have? 41 steps so far today. Uh, it says, each time it says never refresh. So, and there's a few little glitches in the, uh, there you go. <clears throat> a few little glitches in the software here, but not too bad. Let me run you through this. When you're looking at this page, it's showing you your basic data. If I flip up like this, it comes to your summary. This is the daily. We have weekly and we have monthly. Across the top here are the days of the week. And this is today. And it's telling me my exercise information. And it goes on down to give me some exercise advice. With 41 steps, I'm sure the advice is warranted. Watch. If I slide here, I go back to yesterday. And there is yesterday's data. Slide it again. And on the day before. And it tells me where I'm doing there. Now, you can set your goal. And I think it's really low on this, like 3,000 or something steps. And honestly, I didn't do much uh, workouts or walking or anything. This is not going to discriminate on whether you're running or walking or jogging. Whether you're in your target heart rate zone or not. There's no heart rate monitor on it. It's a simple digital watch that, oh, by the way, will track your steps and keep a annual log of them. Here's the weekly report. And I can change weeks. There was what's considered last week through Sunday. And this being Monday is uh, starting the next data. And it's showing you your total uh, daily step count on a weekly average and it's giving you your achievement against reaching your overall 3,000 steps a day goal, calories, and exercise advice. And again, then you have month and we're still in the month of April. So it's only going to have the month of April. But look at that. Every single day in the month is there. And it's again showing you your daily uh, accumulated average overall steps against um, the chart on the side for the month. So you have month, week, and day reports, and the day is, is breaking it down by hour. So it's tracking all that here in the device, and periodically, I think within 15 days, you just simply sync this to the app, and you've got some really good accumulated data if what you're trying to do is, say, reach a stepping goal for weight or exercise or heart health or whatever. So it's not a watch for everybody. This is not a fancy Android watch, but it is a, a really decent watch for being able to pull in the information that you need for steps and also have alarms go off and notification happen if you're getting uh, simple stuff. Let's see what the notification things are. Let me get into that over here. Coming back, we've got... Uh, a way that you can send these results out over these various things, but nothing more. Twitter, Facebook, WeChat, and WeChat Moments, okay? Then this brings us into our setup. In our setup, you can set your health goal and all sorts of information. There's the exercise goal. Oh, I guess it was set for 5,000, and I've been doing like 3,000. You can set a weight goal. You can go into Moments, and Moments is where you find new friends. And you can do uh, comparisons, I guess, uh, with your friends. You can add a new friend there. I think that's the WeChat Moments. Here's the remote camera, which should switch this to camera mode. And uh, in camera mode, I think I can just press the button here going to wiggle this and see if I'm not sure which one it was I thought oh no there it is it's that start button okay you see it, it the, the picture froze and you heard a sound that just took a picture 
So you can use the watch as a remote camera trigger by going into the app and tapping camera to get everything all set up. We have reminders, and um, these are the different reminders it supports. You can turn on an alarm. You can do all these different reminders here, but no more. It's not going to remind you of everything you've got installed in your phone, just these particular ones. But phone and message and the typical ones, including WhatsApp, Facebook, and Twitter. And then your connected device. And this is where you can remove or bind your device to, to make the connection. So really simple app, basic features, and um, mostly for tracking your information related to steps and accumulating that data over several different days, oh, throughout the whole year, actually. Nice little watch, really nice little watch. So a little bit more about this watch and where we got it and where you can get it, too. Again, it's from Zoitop, and it's available through AliExpress. There'll be a link in the show notes down below. And uh, <laughs> can you beat that price? Look at that. It's under $20 for this nice little watch. And it comes in a variety of colors. Here's the orange one pic pictured here. Uh, Zoe Top UU Outdoor Swim Waterproof Sports Watch. Brand new sponsor for us. And by the way, when you're in AliExpress and you Google or search, do the search under Zoe Top, just like that, you'll see that they have a lot of the watches that we're all familiar with, the big fancy Android watches they sell as well. They're kind of like Limfo in this regard, that there's a whole variety of, uh, of watches that you see other major companies uh, selling that they have branded the Zoitop brand as well. But this, this one was unique. This is a, a, a special, different kind of watch, um, digital watch that also doubles as a smart watch. Here's the uh, specs on it. And check this out, totally waterproof to five atmospheres. Yes, you can swim with this. Yes, you can shower with this. Um, this is a solid watch that's easy for you to do all of that stuff. The band is interesting. It looks leather. It's got stitching on it, but when you feel it, you can tell it's like a uh, silicone type material. Slightly stretchy. Got the silver clasp on it, regular clasp, and you can go way into it for a very tiny arm as well. So universal size, lots of holes available, and uh, I don't think you're going to have any degradation if the watch band gets wet because of the material it's made of. It's not leather. You can see on the side it's not going to absorb water. So it's good for underwater work uh, use as well. And, of course, it's got Bluetooth connectivity to your phone. Wireless connectivity over Bluetooth 4.0, low power. Oh, and by the way, uh, after a half hour or so, that little Bluetooth marker will go away. Uh, it turns it off if, if you're not using it or needing it. And all you have to do is press and hold on the light button, and it'll activate the Bluetooth. So if you're trying to sync from your phone and it's not wanting to sync, make sure that that's turned on. And to do that, press and hold. And when they're all done, uh, it'll turn itself off to save your battery, of course. What else? Remote control for all of these things. And it's an ultra-low power FSTN negative display LCD EL backlight. Yes, it has a backlight. It has a buzzer. Um, and it stores every 15 minutes and accumulates 15 days of motion data. So you can take this with you on your climb to the Alps. And as long as you get back within 15 days, you can sync to your phone then. The light is over here. I'm not sure if we can see it. Let's get it where it's dark. Wow. Do you see a light in there? It's really, really soft. I'm not seeing it light up on camera, but it is lighting up. It's kind of that electroluminescent greenish blue light. And it shows up. I'm going to press and hold and turn the Bluetooth off. As you can see up in the upper right hand corner, it's now turned off. All right. The Zoe Top UU Outdoor Swim Watch. I have another picture for you that shows you all of the different uh, 
functions going on, but it cut the words off. Day of the week, Bluetooth, the time, your calendar, your steps, your calories burned, your distance, your alarms, your stopwatch, camera, phone, and mail or pro probably other notifications uh, show up there. All right, under $20, and uh, I'll put in the, just a general search thing for Zoitop so you can see all their other products. Welcome to uh, Smartwatch Ticks Zoitop and your first product review. We'll catch you guys later with some more interesting things, including another really unusual smartwatch coming up.